Hi guys, this is Monkeys Nuts.com. This is going to be a short vlog. Well, I'll, I'll try and make it short. Um, but it's predominantly going to be about Rill. Um, I've given Rill qu quite a bad rep. I mean, I've criticised it. I'm not too keen on the place. Um, there are some areas of it which are very dodgy and you don't really want to be going around on your own. Um, but on the other side, there are some places, some areas of Rill which are quite nice actually. Um, there, no, there's quite a lot of large houses in the um, in the west end of Rill. Uh, sorry, in the east end, um, there's some um, old people's homes and a few other buildings around there. Um, but what I'm going to do today is go for a little tour around um, around Rill, showing all the sort of like uh, activities and the best places to, to sort of stay if you're going to come over here on holiday or something. Um, I'll also show the the areas where you want to try and avoid the um, places where if you park your car outside your house it might not be there in the morning. Just as a side note really, there's quite a lot of dogs around here by the looks of things. These two coming up look extremely cute. Now, um, I think uh, I had a relative once who called, who had one of those and she called it Dougal. So, because I don't really know what the breed of, the, of dog that is, so I just called it a Dougal dog. Um, the little fluffy things, they're really cute there. But what I'm going to do now is um, I'm going to start in the east end of Rill. So I'm going to show the, the nice area and, and the area where you want to stay. Is. So um, I'll head off now anyway. So I'm here in the car park of the pavilion. This is a... Um, theatre that we have around here um, there's quite a lot of performances regularly on um, it's a nice size theatre and it's actually quite nice inside um, next to the pavilion is the sun centre um, the sun centre is basically a swimming pool um, it's gone through quite a lot of refurbishment um, lately which yeah, hasn't really helped uh, the planning to knock down the pavilion and some centre and build a whole new one um, whether or not they actually will isn't totally in, is an entirely other thing but so these houses on the prom of Rill they're quite nice there's a um, there's an awful lot of B&B's, bed and bed breakfasts around here. Um, the houses get quite weathered, obviously, with them being right beside the sea. Um, but, I mean, they're, they're, they are quite nice, actually. There's quite a few for sale along here. I don't know why that is, but... I guess this must just be the time of year to be selling selling the house. So here's a bed B and B there. Um, this little corner here is locally known as Splash Point. And it's been quite damaged by by the uh, tidal waves uh, when they when they flooded Rill. Um, they basically washed away all of the. Uh, all of the sea barrier, the sea wall. Um, so what I'm going to do at this junction is turn right and then head into the, the decent area of Rill. So 
so these houses down here are of a normal size they're, they're pretty standard houses um, the area is is okay there's there's not that many bad fruits around here um, it seems quite a it seems like a nice enough area of grill really <laughs> Yeah, so now we're getting into the area where they're really the houses are quite a decent size. Um, they are quite nice around here. I can imagine the uh, property prices are high. Um, like I said earlier, the majority of properties around here are care home type things. And there's a lot of houses for sale around here. I don't know why, but they seem nice enough anyway. So, what we'll do now is head over the bridge where there's quite a lot, quite a few nice houses as well. It's it's a decent enough area, um, and then we'll head back up into town. So the houses around here are all right. There's um, one or two areas which aren't the best at night time, but I mean you get that with anywhere really. Um, I'm turning right at this junction but if you carry on you get up to the high school and the football um, fields I think it's either a football or yeah it is football so this this particular road isn't the nicest but um, I mean it's alright it's, it's a, it's all right area. I mean, there's a lot of kids down here, so... Yeah, so at this junction, um, you've got the rugby club, um, just on just on the left. And if you continue, if you turn left at this junction, there's, and continue down, basically you just go into a large area with bungalows. Um, and you eventually get to Woodland. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna continue going straight on um, into the the not the not so nice area really. Um, I mean it might be all right, but I've never been fond of it anyway. Is that person gonna? Yep, yeah, that oh, nearly. That person was gonna go right through then. Yeah, so, like I say, straight on from this junction, it's a bit of a dodgy area. Um, there's, quite, there's quite a few rough people around there, people that you, wouldn't, you don't really want to hang around with. Um, <coughs> in the daytime, it's all right, there's, there's not a lot of people around, but I mean, in the night time, all kind of ruffians come out, so... So we get into the industrial area now. There's quite a lot of built um, units around here with companies in it. 
stuff. Um, they they tend to be garages and stuff. But, uh, yeah, once again, it's not a nice area. Um, if you turn left here, you go to the Real College um, or Real Sixth or whatever you want to call it. It's a relatively okay place, I suppose. Um, it's tucked away behind some trees, so it's it's all right. Um, there are quite a few primary schools around this area, and infant schools. You can see here all of them in their little high vis high vis jackets. I'm just going to turn left here because it's avoiding all the speed bumps and that junction up there. Yeah, if you go left here and then down that little road, it's probably one of the worst areas in Ville. It's a really dodgy place. So, down this road is Marsh Tracks, which I'll, I'll just pop to. I think I've spoken about marsh tracks in the previous, um, sorry, not in the previous video, the, the my third video, what's that guy doing? Marsh tracks is, a, is quite a nice place, it's, there's plenty of cycling facilities, um, and it's, it's a nice area really, it's nice and quiet. Um, in the day and the night, I suppose. So, it's a nice area to come cycling as well. This is Marsh Tracks, and you got the mountain bike, um, the BMX course there. So, what I'm going to do now is head back over the bridge into the really dodgy area of Will. So, I'm now going on to a bridge locally known as the H Bridge. Um, it's called the H Bridge because if you look at it on Google Maps, um, it looks like a H. So I guess that's just how people got the nickname H Bridge. Person's doing the um, reverse park. Looks like he's done quite a good job, actually. Better than my first time, anyway. I ended up on the on the, on the pavement. So, straight ahead is the Marine Lake, which I'll just pop in. Um, it's quite a nice area in summer. They do um, a few water sports type things um, in these big buildings just here. There's loads of um, boats and things that that people use and stuff. Um, it's a nice area actually, there's a little um, miniature railway. So 
it's quite nice area actually. So I'll pop up to the um, new bridge which is called the uh, Ford Harbour Bridge. I think it's called Ford Harbour Bridge, it's something like that anyway. Um, I'll pop over the blue bridge, which signifies the end of the um, the end of real basically. Um, as you can see straight ahead, there's a very very large area which they're hoping to develop. Um, However, they originally said that they were going to be developing it in 2015. However, the, the contract owners have now been granted a, uh, I, think it's, I think it's about three years extra to come up with a plan as to what they're actually going to do with the area. Which I think is just, just disgusting really because they're not using that amount of land for anything at the moment. I mean, they're saying that they're going to be developing it into a um, hotel plaza area. But there's no sign of it at all. And if it's going to take them sort of like another three, four years to actually get the planning together, why not just stick a, like a fair on it or something? Something that can actually get bring them money and uh, get more people area at the same time. I mean, it's not very, not very productive really, just sitting around talking about what, what they're actually going to do without actually doing anything. Well, you went in the wrong way, matey boy. <laughs> so, this is the new area which they've recently finished. Um, they're still completing a few of the um, little huts and things which I think they're gonna be making into cafes and stuff um, I'll just maneuver so you can see the actual um, harbour bridge so as you can see behind that big crane that's the that's the new bridge that they actually made um, it's like they're doing some work on it at the moment but I mean, it's it's a nice bridge. It's I mean, it's lovely to cycle over. You do feel like you're very high, but I mean, uh, you are really. You, you're quite a few. You, you're at least uh, twenty, thirty feet off the ground. And this is actually the harbour here on the left. Um, I, it used to be a lot bigger, but I think they've ended up um, downsizing due to, to costs and things. So what we'll do now is head along the coastline, um, back into Rill, and then I'll go around the, the dodgy area. God, there's a lot of learning dry, uh, um, learners out today, isn't there? So this is called the Blue Bridge, um, or the Ford Bridge or something like that, uh, but it's locally known as the Blue Bridge anyway because it's, number one, it's blue, I mean that's pretty much it, it's that well, it's that well known. Um, they've tried to keep, obviously, the, the whole theme of blue going by having blue railings and, and 
having that hoarding up on the on the construction site blue. Um, it looks all right actually. It's just that whether or not in a few years it'll still look the same condition is another thing. So on the right here is um, what used to be a fun area, a sort of like a gambling area. It's not really used as that anymore. Um, they're all starting to fall to pieces. Recently they've been developing these buildings on the right, making them into apartments, um, trying to get more people to the area. It doesn't seem to have worked though. I don't know how much the apartments are, but they seem to be, uh, they appear to be quite expensive to, to live in. Um, and people in the area don't, don't really have the money to do it. These houses down here are all right. I suppose they're, um, the area could be a bit nicer. But, um, it's not the worst places anyway. Now we're going into the dodgy area of Rill. Um, but we will be in a minute anyway. What the council have been um, talking about is knocking down the whole area and building entirely new properties, developing developing everything. Um, whether or not that would work, I don't know. But I guess the council want to improve the area without a massive amount of cost and. It doesn't necessarily work very well. I mean, like you can see, they've already started knocking down these really old buildings here. Um, you can just see the size of some of the machines that they've got to use. As you can see, these houses aren't, aren't the nicest, really. The people that live in them are even worse. Um, as far as I know, I can go down here. If anyone can see any signs or anything saying that I can't, please let me know. This used to be actually quite a nice area, when I was a really, really young kid it did anyway. It's just interesting watching them tear down all the buildings and seeing what it, uh, what they actually look like when they, come, when they fall to pieces. Obviously. These buildings were not built like modern buildings are. I mean, there's probably a hell of a lot of plastic and uh, and all kinds of things, and it's probably not been made out of the most um, sustainable material. It looks like what they're doing is saving all the bricks, because there's a big pile there on the right. Bricks that they just... Um, looks like they're saving. So yeah, like I say, when these houses were open and when members of the public were in them, it was a it was an incredibly dodgy area. No one, you didn't want to be around here any part of the day. Um, it's 
so what I'm gonna do now is now go right. Let's personalize up. So, what I'll do now is just go around, around Rill, and then uh, basically head back onto the prop. So the centre of Rill is it's all right, really. I suppose there's um, not that many bad eggs around. I mean, the shops are all right, everyone in them is friendly enough, so... So, um, yeah, that was basically a, a tour around Rill. It's all right, I suppose. It's, it's not as bad as um, as I would make it out to be, but um, there are still places where you don't really want to, to hang around. Um, I'm just going to end the video basically here with the old Sky Tower um, and the cinema, basically, really. Not much to, to say really. Um, well, that's pretty much it. There's not a massive amount to do in real, but um, it's all right, I suppose. So, like I say, if you want to come on holiday here, by all means, do so. But just bear in mind where where you're actually going to stay. Um, It's all right, really. Just, just don't go around the west end of Ville. Try and stay in the east, or on the prom, where all the B and Bs are. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off now. So, so I'll see you guys later. <laughs>